guys at my job talked about this uh who was the best male pop singer pop uh male pop singer of of our era i guess we got the chance of that that was alive and we were alive mm -hmm. uh you're gonna say all time i guess but you, you can you can classify it to, to, to of course my favorite singer frank sinatra you know he for me he's hands down one of the all-time greats and one to get your feedback on who you thought was r&b wise pop wise classical uh you know you know any kind of any kind of g uh, g genre male vocalist who are your who are your top guys man do top, we maybe top do, three <laughs> do we have to have this conversation man you know which where i'm going with this well i kind of figured you you know you might be going in a certain just, direction just get on get on like roots like what's that 81 start right. heading west and start <laughs> going to minneapolis minnesota oh wow and then wow. park your car in front of paisley park and go visit <laughs> Paisley Park because the purple one, Prince Roger Nelson, is the greatest of all time. There's no, right. there's, there's no getting around that with me. And, you, and now that he's gone, you're never going to get around that with me. Okay, right, right. Uh, all these guys that are out right now, the Bruno Mars, the even the Ushers, the you know, I don't even know all these guys that are that are rocking right now and doing extraordinarily well. Yeah, um, you know Anderson Park, all these they're Prince proteges. They they of literally oh, yeah. I have think so. I agree. Prince in every single way, you know, and those people who say that, oh, Michael Jackson better than Prince, you you smoking that good stuff, <laughs> smoking the good stuff because because this dude was a musical genius. He played every instrument. He produced. He wrote. He he acted. He directed everything, like everything, yeah. right? And probably you know, like real guitarist, like real guitarist, you know, right. um, say that Prince is the guy. Yeah, okay. they, they they talk about him. In the, right, and in so so you know, to me, it's 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 Prince has always be about Prince, and that's it. Yeah, well, I I mean, I like Prince and all. You know, I I, I put it up in my top top ten or something like that. Mm -hmm. But for male vocalists, of course, you know, I, I, in my top three, I gotta go. I got Marvin Gaye in there. You know, but mm -hmm. I, I'm a little impartial because he's from the District of Columbia. Right. Uh, Felipe Wynn, man, from the Spinners, man. Felipe Wynn, that dude could go. I mean, if you mm -hmm. listen to this stuff by this by Felipe Wynn, man, even his solo stuff was, was nice. Right. And then, of course, one of my top two or three, man, is Teddy Pendergrass. Mm -hmm. And I, I always like I always liked how Teddy Pendergrass would just come out and just command the stage, like, come on, turn off the lights, turn them on, turn them on. I mean, women would throw that's like that's like women throwing panties on the stage. Like, turn them on. You can't go wrong with Teddy P, baby. Teddy P. Hey, what do you think about, hey, Mar, you think about Barry White, man? Were you a Barry White fan? I always was a Barry White fan. That's that was that's a silky that was a silky smooth brother, man. Mm -hmm. Despite the I mean, I mean along with the deep voice, just right. the hair, you know, the pompadour hair and everything. Right, right, it was just right. uh, that dude was a, that was that was a bad cat right there. Right. I love nah, Barry I, White. I, I love some Barry White, man. That's yeah, we had some great ones, man. We had some great ones in the in the, in the era that we got that we as you know, you and I, we got a chance to see these and hear listen to these cats mm -hmm. up close and personal, man. So I, I, I have, I'm, I'm thankful for that, man. Male no vocalist, bro. Yeah, no doubt, no right doubt. on.